Longman Preparation Series for the TOEIC Test Introductory Course Published by Pearson All rights reserved The use of this audio program for the purpose of copying, transforming, or adapting in any manner, in whole or in part, is strictly prohibited without the prior consent of Pearson Education. Copyright 2012, Pearson Education Incorporated. CD5 Practice Test 2 Listening Test In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part 1 Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Example A. They're leaving the room. B. They're turning on the machine. C. They're standing near the table. D. They're reading the newspaper. Statement C, they're standing near the table, is the best description of the picture, so you should select Answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, Part 1 will begin. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number one in your book. A. They're shaking out the sand. B. They're greeting one another. C. They're going out to sea. D. They're running a mile. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number two in your book. A. She's drawing on paper. B. She's arranging the tiles. C. She's filing her nails. D. She's looking in the files. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your book. A. The telephones are on the wall. B. The signs are under the phones. C. The door is behind the sign. D. The phones are to the left of the door. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your book. A. She's writing some notes. B. She's looking through the microscope. C. She's cleaning the lab equipment. D. She's using a telescope. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your book. A. The uniformed guard is by the entrance. B. The gate to the courtyard is open. C. The pathway circles through the trees. D. The tourists line up by the garden door. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your book. A. They're riding on the elevator. B. They're buying a refrigerator. C. 
They're standing near the escalator. D. They're walking up the stairs. Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your book. A. The tables are set for lunch. B. The diners are enjoying a break. C. The customers are choosing their seats. D. The chairs and tables are empty. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your book. A. The cargo is in the hold of the plane. B. The boxes are loaded onto the container. C. The goods are stacked in the warehouse. D. The produce is on the back of the truck. Number nine. Look at the picture marked number nine in your book. A. They're staying on the platform. B. They're opening the window. C. They're waiting for the plane. D. They're getting on the train. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your book. A. She's holding the cup with both hands. B. She's walking in the pouring rain. C. She's pointing up to the top shelf. D. She's pouring a cup of coffee. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Example. You will hear Where is the meeting room? You will also hear A. To meet the new director. B. It's the first room on the right. C. Yes, at two o'clock. Your best response to the question, Where is the meeting room? is choice B. It's the first room on the right. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now, part two will begin. Number 11. When did the director arrive? A. Since this morning. B. At the airport. C. Late last night. Number 12. Do you know whose keys these are? A. I left them on your desk. B. I think they're Mr. Kim's. C. They're the keys to the closet door. Number 13. Where did you put the packages for Ms. Sato? A. Ms. Sato is over there. B. They're on her desk. C. She packed her bags. Number 14. Are you almost ready for the meeting? A. I met him at the reception last night. B. No, it's in the big conference room. C. Yes, I just have to finish typing these notes.
Number 15. Where do you usually park your car? A. There's a beautiful park nearby. B. In the garage across the street. C. I had to take it to the mechanic last week. Number 16. When can I call you? A. Tomorrow morning is a good time. B. Most people just call me Maria. C. My office is the best place to talk. Number 17. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. A. You were supposed to come yesterday. B. I'd better bring an umbrella. C. Tomorrow's train is on time. Number 18. Who is going to meet Mr. Contini at the airport? A. He's at the airport. B. Mrs. Garcia will pick him up. C. At 10 o'clock. Number 19. Do you know what time the offices close? A. I think everyone leaves by 5 30. ・・ Yes, the offices are closed. ・・ C. You really should buy some new clothes. Number 20. Why did Ms. Chen call a meeting today? A. It's today. B. At 2 30, I think. C. Because we have to discuss the budget. Number 21. How often do you have to turn in financial reports? A. Mrs. Gomez is our financial manager. B. Once every month. C. He's a very good reporter. Number 22. How long does the bus ride take? A. It's only about 15 minutes. B. It's not a very big bus. C. It's a very pleasant ride. Number 23. I don't feel very well. A. You don't look sick. B. She's fine, thank you. C. You're welcome. Number 24. Where would you like to eat dinner? A. As soon as I finish typing this document. B. We could try that restaurant across the street. C. Yes, I would like that very much. Number 25. Were you able to book a hotel for next week? A. I book. B. Yes, I got a room at a nice place downtown. C. No, I didn't. Number 26. She's been waiting for over an hour. A. My clock is broken. B. Ask her if she wants to sit down and wait. C. She's lost a lot of weight. Number 
How can I make an appointment with Ms. Lee? A. She's very happy about her new position. B. You won't be disappointed. C. You should speak with her assistant. Number 28. How long do you plan to stay in Tokyo? A. Only about three or four days. B. I haven't been there in a long time. C. At one of the downtown hotels. Number 29. Would you like to go to a movie with us after work? A. Yes, we took a long walk. B. Yes, that's a great idea. C. Yes, I worked all afternoon. Number 30. Did you notice whether Ms. Kovacs was at the reception? A. Yes, I took thorough notes. B. Yes, she was there. C. Yes, she received it. Number 31. Where can I find Mr. Park? A. He should be in his office now. B. Usually after lunch. C. At 10 45. Number 32. How many people work in this department? A. Yes, it's quite a big apartment. B. There are 15 altogether. C. I've worked here for several years. Number 33. When will you be free to meet for lunch? A. In the cafeteria on the second floor. B. It doesn't cost anything. C. Next Monday is a good time. Number 34. Did you buy that newspaper downstairs? A. Yes, we'll need some more paper. B. Yes, at the newsstand in the lobby. C. Yes, we said goodbye. Number 35. When will the new assistant manager start work? A. In the office down the hall. B. Next week, I think. C. She has a lot of experience. Number 36. We're going to build a new house. A. The new building is next to my home. B. I'm going there too. C. I can recommend an architect. Number 37. Is there a discount on this furniture? A. Yes, I can give you 25% off the regular price. B. Yes, we counted it last night. C. Yes, this is furniture. Number 38. Why hasn't Mr. Marino signed those papers yet? A. He buys the newspaper every morning. B. Because he hasn't had a chance to read them. C. No, he hasn't.
Number 39. This grass is higher than ever. A. I'm taller than you. B. It's time to cut it. C. The glass is never clean. Number 40. You aren't still working for the same company, are you? A. No, I got a new job about a month ago. B. No, I went there alone. C. No, it was a different computer. Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Now, part three will begin. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. This package arrived for Mr. Ozawa this morning. Who is it from? His boss? No, his secretary. It's the report he needs for his meeting with Ms. Jones tomorrow. He's at lunch, but I'll put it on his desk with the rest of his mail. Number 41. Who sent the package? Number 42. When is the meeting with Ms. Jones? Number 43. Where is Mr. Ozawa now? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Oh no, I left my wallet at my desk. Don't worry about it, I'll pay for lunch. Are you sure? I ate such a big meal. It's no problem, I'll use my credit card and you can pay me later. Number 44. Where are the speakers? Number 45. What will the woman do? Number 46. What will the man give the woman? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Do you have a table for three of us tonight? We don't have reservations. I can give you a table for three at nine o'clock. Or at 8 45, I have a table next to the kitchen. We'll take the nine o'clock. We'll just wait in the bar until then. Number 47. How many people will eat dinner? Number 48. What time will they eat dinner? Number 49. What will they do before dinner? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation White seems to be the best color for these walls, don't you think? White is good for the windows, but you need a better color on the walls. You're right. How about yellow or blue? Blue would match the color of the rug and chairs. Sounds good. I'll get the paints and we'll start the day after tomorrow, on Friday. Number 50. What are the speakers discussing?
Number 51. What color is the rug? Number 52. When will they start work on the project? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Is Jim still working on that memo? I've got to see him before I leave. Good luck. He missed the three o'clock meeting because he had to type the final copy. Well, I can't wait. I've got to catch the six o'clock train. I'm already late. Number 53. Why did Jim miss the meeting? Number 54. What time was the meeting? Number 55. Why does the man have to hurry? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. We can't write this report here. Your office is too noisy. Aren't there desks somewhere where it's quieter? Hmm. We could take the elevator to the first floor conference room. Okay, let's just take this computer and that folder of papers with us. Fine. We can leave the pens and notepads here. They have all that downstairs. Number 56. Where will the speakers go to work? Number 57. What will they take with them? Number 58. What kind of work are they doing? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Sam, who will be in your office tomorrow to go over these accounts with me? I'll be at a conference, but my boss will be there after lunch. He'll help you. Great. He's more helpful than your assistant. I'll take him out to dinner after work as a thank you. Number 59. Who will be in the office tomorrow? Number 60. What does the woman want help with? Number 61. When will the woman go to the office? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. This is the newspaper ad you were telling me about, right? Briefcases on sale at 15% off is a really good deal. They'll probably sell out really fast. You should fax your order today. I think I'd rather call and order one over the phone. Well, hurry then. The sale ends tomorrow. No, it doesn't. Look, Saturday's the last day. Number 62. What does the man want to buy? Number 63. How much is the sale? Number 64. When does the sale end? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. I'm so tired of this old photocopier. Did you realize it's broken again? I'm going to report this right away. I have to get these copies made. I already called the company. A repair person will be here at noon. Great. Well, 
I guess I'll read my email while I'm waiting. Number 65. What is broken? Number 66. When will the repair person arrive? Number 67. What will the man do while he is waiting? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. We have to discuss the conference plan soon. Can we meet this week? Sorry, I'll be away on a business trip for the rest of this week. How about next Monday then? I'll see you in your office at 11. Monday's fine, but let's make it at 1. I have a morning class. Number 68. Why can't the man meet with the woman this week? Number 69. What does the woman want to discuss? Number 70. What time will the woman be at the man's office? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Now, Part 4 will begin. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. The 10.30 train to Paris will begin boarding in 10 minutes at gate 15. Passengers who still wish to check luggage should do so now. Passengers with small children or those needing special assistance are asked to arrive at the gate five minutes before boarding time. All other passengers will be boarded in the order that they arrive at the gate. Passengers without tickets can purchase them on the train. Please be advised that on board the train we can accept cash only. Credit cards and personal checks will not be accepted. Number 71. What time will the train leave? Number 72. Who should arrive at the gate early? Number 73. What form of payment is accepted for tickets on the train? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following report. Welcome to the 5 o'clock weather report. I know you're all tired of this long day of rain, but the good news is that the skies will finally clear up tonight. By tomorrow morning, there shouldn't be a cloud in the sky, and it'll be warm and sunny all day. For all you people who've been wanting to make a trip to the beach, tomorrow should be the perfect day for it. Number 74. Who is talking? Number 75. When is the speaker talking? Number 76. How will the weather be tomorrow? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Attention shoppers, take advantage of today's special in the meat department. Ground beef is on sale at two pounds for the price of one. 
Don't forget to check out our produce department, where we have fresh vegetables and a variety of fruit available. Shoppers purchasing 15 or fewer items can use our express checkout lanes. Don't wait in line, just follow the red signs to the express lanes at the front of the store. Number 77. Where would you hear this announcement? Number 78. What is on sale? Number 79. Who can use the express checkout lanes? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following talk. Good evening, class. I'm Dr. Compton. First, I'd like to explain the requirements of this course. We'll use just one textbook. It's available in the university bookstore and is called Advanced Algebra. I'll assign about 10 algebra exercises a week for you to do as homework, and you'll have a midterm exam as well as a final exam. Class begins at 7 o'clock, and I expect everyone to be here on time. Number 80. Who is talking? Number 81. What is the subject of the class? Number 82. How many tests will there be? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. Good afternoon. I hope you're all feeling well-rested and energetic after that delicious lunch. For our next stop, we'll visit the Bob Wilson House. Mr. Wilson is an important figure in our history and was our city's first mayor. The bus driver has informed me that we'll have an hour to spend at the Wilson House. Then we'll go on to see the War Heroes Monument. It'll be late by then, and we'll have to leave the Art Museum visit for another day. Number 83. Who was Bob Wilson? Number 84. How long will they stay at the Wilson House? Number 85. Where will they go after visiting the Wilson House? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following announcement. Attention all employees. There are still a few tickets left for the year-end soccer tournament at the city stadium. Anyone who wishes to join the company excursion to see the game should go to the front desk today to reserve your tickets. We've hired a bus which will leave from the front of the building on Saturday at 6am. The bus ride is free. Join us on this exciting trip to watch your favourite players win the trophy. Number 86. What are the tickets for? Number 87. Where can you get tickets? Number 88. What time will the bus leave? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following speech. Good evening. I am pleased to introduce Ms. Lucy Park, the award-winning author of You Too Can Become a Millionaire. Ms. Park will read excerpts from her book and answer questions from the audience. Following that, she will be available to sign copies of her book. You can purchase the book at the back of the auditorium for $25.
That's a special price available tonight only and is 10% off the usual cost. Number 89. What is Ms. Park's book about? Number 90. What will Ms. Park do? Number 91. What can you do at the back of the auditorium? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. You have reached the office of Pamela Jones, science reporter at the Daily Times newspaper. I'll be out of the office all week at the Journalists' Conference in New York. If you wish to speak to my assistant, press 1. To reach the main switchboard, press 2. To leave a message, please stay on the line. Start speaking at the sound of the beep. Thank you. Number 92. Who is Pamela Jones? Number 93. Why can't she answer the telephone right now? Number 94. What should you do if you want to leave a message? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following recorded announcement. You have reached the information hotline of Breezeway Airlines. The following updated flight information is available for this evening's arrivals. Flight 260 from Hong Kong will arrive 20 minutes late. Flight 75 from Sydney will arrive on time. Flight 186 from London will arrive one hour late. The delay is due to heavy rains over the British Isles. Flight 17 from Paris has been cancelled due to a local blizzard. Now is the time to take advantage of our special sale. We still have sale-priced tickets available to selected destinations. Act now because the sale ends next week. Please note, we will have a new flight schedule next month. Check our website for details. Thank you for choosing Breezeway Airlines. Number 95. Which flight will arrive on time? Number 96. Why was a flight canceled? Number 97. When does the special sale end? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following recorded announcement. Thank you for calling the Starlight Cinema. Today we are showing the exciting action drama Lost in the Storm. We have shows today at 1, 3, 5 and 7.30 p.m. We will also have a special midnight showing of the mystery thriller Black Knight. Tickets for this show will not be sold to anyone under the age of 18. All shows before 5 o'clock are half price. Cold drinks, hot popcorn and other snacks are available for sale in the lobby. Please don't bring outside food into the theatre. Number 98. How many shows will the theatre have today? Number 99. What is half price? Number 100. What is not allowed inside the theater? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to Part 5 in your test book.